on behalf of jk cement limited i would like to thank ca okay. for giving things opportunity in this uh, forum myself rajkumar production head along with uh, my unit head mr ruma shankar choudhury we are going to present about a for jani in jk cement works mudapur about jk cement limited we are the part of industrial conglomerate rec jk organization which was promoted by lest mr redbadi singhania we have entered cement manufacturing business in 1975 right now we are having the gray cement capacity of 14.7 million tons per annum and white cement capacity of 1.2 million tons per annum about mudapur having cement capacity of 3.5 million tons per annum and clinker capacity of 2.2 million tons per annum we are certified with iso 9001 14001 and 45000 50001 various iso certification system we are also a green co gold rated plant about indian cement industry right now indian cement industry production is around uh, capacity is around 540 million tons per annum average and we are the second largest cement producer after china and our estimated coal requirement is around 40 million tons per annum so we are having the enormous potential to use this continuous hazardous and non hazardous waste generated in our india if the is suitable for co processing so these are the waste generation potential available in india right now we are having waste generation potential of 95 million tons per year which is approximate which is projected up to 245 million tons per year up to 2030 in which 30% of existing waste generation is going as landfill only so we are having huge waste generation potential available in the country so how we are going to utilize this waste by 3r principle it's a normal principle reduce reuse and recycle now we are including that co generation also plus c so to consume this waste to to utilize this waste what we can do first is dumping land filling which is not good for environment it is not a good technique also second is physical and chemical treatment we can go but it is a little bit costly incineration further that incineration of that material will generate ash that also you say this little bit difficult so the best option is co processing for co processing which industry is suitable if you are thinking that way cement industry will be much more suitable for co processing because in cement industry we are producing clinker with a temperature of around 1050 degrees celsius as per the study at the range of 800 to 900 degrees celsius this all air for minor elements with other elements will get merged with clinker so cement co processing is the best way to utilize this air for in other way in cement industry uh, most of our cost it includes 850 to 70% is by thermal and electrical cost only in which 91% contribution by thermal only so by using uh, this kind of cheaper alternative fuel by conserving our normal fossil fuel so uh, conservation of fossil fuel is also there and cost reduction also we can go at this is the air for usage globally in this you can see the european countries their average air for is more than 50 percentage but in india we are still in the range of 5 percentage but we are targeting for 25 percentage by 2025 to 2030 if we are able to achieve this value then our coal consumption will reduce by 25 percentage as well as ghg emission then main area main thing is our land filling area in the country will also be reduced by 20 percentage so this is the vision for mudapur plant about our a for usage and road map we are having road map to achieve 30 percent tsr in near by future last year in 1920 we have achieved the tsr of 30 10.8 percentage with a quantity of 63704 ton in which we commission liquid air for system and the shredder we commission imported shredder in march 2020 and air for lab also installed after that in 2020 21 we achieved tsr around 15.1 percentage with the total quantity of around 87000 ton in which we are able to shred the material properly so that we can achieve 15 percentage and the daily 300 metric ton per day only shredded material we are able to utilize then we are already plan we are already installed this one more liquid air for system in our plant then our future target in 2021 or in next year our target is around 30 percentage we are planning to use more than 1 lakh metric ton per year of waste material by installation of chlorine bypass system and with the investment of 37 crore already order has been passed soon in next year will be commissioning the system and we are having one more plan to install other shredder so that the total material requirement for the calcining process will not get affected this is the consumption plan for 30 percent tsr in which you can see solid air for contributes 76% as per tonnage basis and liquid air for contributes 24 percentage in which maximum contribution is taken by rdf and this dry plastic waste this is a air layer feeding system when we started our journey for air for it is a normal uh, buffer hopper with bell conveyor which is directly feeding to the calcinar in which we are able to feed around 1.5 to 1.7 percent tsr then we upgraded our system with the imported uh, vima solid air for shredder with a capacity of 20 tph after that this material will go to the buffer bin with the apron feed at the capacity of 20 tph then it will go to the calcinar by way of two bells and a double flap gate to protect the false air as well as the safety point of view 
we are having a proper a for set in which we have segregated hazardous and non hazardous in a separate way and uh, with a completely concrete floor along with the strider this is our liquid air for firing system uh, vehicle unloading pump is available with a storage tank of 30 kl and the nitrogen blanket system is completely available then this material will be further transferring to the feeding points in pre heater this is our a for journey we have started our a for journey with minimum 0.73 percentage in 2015 16 you can see over the years we have increased our a for journey in a equal and way in 1920 10.83 now year to date we are achieving 18 percent and on consistent basis in which around 16 percent is solid a for and 2 percent is liquid a for our target is around 30 percent and this is a tonnage basis last year we are consumed around 80 000, 87 000 ton this year we are targeting to consume around more than 1 lakh ton and we are targeting for 20 percent tsr in this financial year by consuming this kind of alternate fuel last year we have consumed conserved around 23000 ton of coal these are the a for clients what we are having uh, which involves lot of sector fmcg food products pharmaceuticals footwear machineries automobile chemical petrochemical when we are using this a for we are facing problem in the terms of specific, higher specific for consumption and operating cost to compensate this loss we are getting processing fees from this kind of waste generator those are having more kind of uh, hazardous material and when we are able to when we are trying to increase the afr we are facing some problem so we are taken some action initially in the analysis wise first we have reduced the fine coal residue to improve the burning which helped a lot after that analysis of afr material has been improved in a shift wise way and the proper blending of high ash material with other adf also we have followed and alkali and chloride and following of lewis chart in hot mill also we are following on regular basis so that we are able to maintain our pyro system in a good manner and uh, whatever receipt material is there we are able to analyze this chloride so3 viscosity alkali and uh, along with proximate analysis for all material whatever receipt in our plant we are having full fledged well flush lab in which we are having tga and icp chns analyzer rapid moisture analyzer and distillation unit last year we have commissioned we have installed this afr lab which is helping a lot to find out the minor elements in uh, afr by this way we are changing the mixing of the material so we are able to achieve good tsr in the plant without affecting the operation this is the benefits of utilizing afr first is of course cost benefit we are getting second is environmental benefits uh, which uh, in turn reduce the co2 emission as well as one more action is the chimney knox also it is getting reduced when we are increasing the afr after that we are contributing towards the national mission called swachh bharat yojana then pad benefits also already we are getting and till now up to 20% tsr 18 to 20% tsr we have not seen any adverse effect on cement quality these are the disadvantage of af4 when we are using the problem in burning and operational stability when feed size is more we are facing this problem after that this candling this material is increasing the additional heat record for drying and the direct feeding is not suitable some treatment is required before feeding this material and sometimes this minor elements uh, available in af4 is sometime impacting the clinker quality these are the major challenges uh, everyone is facing when they are using af4 high chloride in the bottom six side zone on building formation and in a for lab lot of a for variety of material to be analyzed and regarding refractory consumption uh, the bottom cyclone area in calcinar and calcining zone of kilan we are facing some problem in the refractories when we are using this higher a for life is getting slightly reduced and the pre heater oxidized atmosphere is not getting normal because sometimes that frequent co is coming because of uh, this a for feeding in calcinar so in turn that uh, Uh, outlet water is not maintaining properly which is leading to slightly reduction in clinker production so these are the a for uh, infrastructure we are maintaining in the plant we are having full fledged strider imported strider and the solid a for way feeder and with the uh, apron system is available agro waste cutter is available leachate pit liquid a for firing system and a for lab by all this infrastructure we are using in a proper way and we are able to maintain the tsr in the range of 18 to 20 percentage these are the awards we received in the recent years uh, in last four years we are consecutively receiving uh, excellent energy efficient unit from ca so we are now national energy leader in energy efficiency and we received green co gold rated uh, plan by ca last year and uh, in last ncbm 16th international seminar we received 16th prestigious award after that we received lot of awards in the last year so we are more having way forward to go thank you so much sir